Hello everybody and welcome back here to the Cyber Gamer TV studios. Myself, Toby Mon Kenobi here, shoutcasting for you. It's been all night long um, for the ICD Pro Dota Tournament. They've been playing all day long and into the night. We'll actually be going all the way till midnight tonight. We might pack up a little bit earlier than that because we will be back here tomorrow morning to actually shoutcast a lot of the other matches. We will get ourselves to the quarterfinals later tonight. So if there's a big match, we'll stick around and see what we can actually come up with. Uh, for you now, uh, we are going off to Team Malaysia, going up against VGF. This is a second round match, and uh, without further ado, let's actually jump ourselves straight into the game. And uh, we will actually be going through the captain's mode this time around. So uh, we will actually speed ourselves through this one, just to actually, um, yeah, what's the, what's, the, what's the word I'm actually looking for? So we don't waste time as much. Um, I'd actually like to make this uh, extra time, normal time, go down a little bit lower. It's always a little bit annoying how long it actually takes, but uh, we are now here and um, moving ourselves through. So I actually click something on my other screen, which didn't really work quite nice, but we are still cool. Um, all right, bands and picks so far. We've got Mushy, who is our uh, captain, uh, going up against Solo. Um, who could possibly be our solo, we don't know, we'll find out. Um, Mushy has taken out Doombringer as well as Pugna early on. ES, uh, instant ban coming out from VGF. Uh, Lich as well as Lion, every support hero you could possibly want, they have removed and now picked up SF as well. Ancient Apparition has gone to the sidelines as well. Ancient Apparition, this is literally standard bans coming out from Mushy. Uh, but VGF it literally said straight off the cuff, we don't want Lion, we don't want Lich, we don't want ES. You take what you want and they grab Batrider as, and Visage. You got yourself a Nuka and an amazing Ganker. In our last game, we saw just how good a Ganker can be uh, through Tiny's abilities. This time around, though, we'll actually have um, Batrider doing those, doing those duties. So I want to get a Blink Dagger up on him as fast as they possibly can. Uh, VGF have now picked up Vengeful Spirit. Um, interesting, interesting. Oh, we do actually have Impa Team as well, so we can actually keep the Fog of War on. Yes, I love it. I love it when they actually do this for me. Um, but uh, now we pick up Ventral Spirit as well as Enigma. Interesting, interesting. I'm wondering if VGF are actually going to look for a big, big pushing build. And Ventral Spirit obviously gives them the extra damage for everybody. Um, and is that stunner and initiator for them if they need it. But you just think maybe they're going to go all out push. Who actually knows? Uh, Enigma could lead them to go actually go two solos. Um, it will actually reduce the amount of supports that MY can actually use. In saying that. Lich, ES, Lion, they have all been picked throughout all the games so far. Uh, but there's still a lot more on offer. You still have Witch Doctor, you still actually... And they ban out Storm Spirits, so they're banning out one of uh, Mushy's favourite heroes. Um, but they've ba banned out, basically, most of the support heroes, but none of the key heroes. You've still got your heroes like... I'm not going to say Weaver, because after this tournament, I doubt anyone is actually going to pick him. Um, considering how badly he's been dominated, the, well, two out of the three times he's been picked. Something to be concerned about. Alchemist also taken out of the field as well. Uh, Venomance being banned out by Mushy, but there are still just so much, as I, as I was saying. It's like Witch Doctor, you've got um, Tidehunter, which has been a popular one of late. Tidehunter will be, actually be a very good pick right now, considering that uh, you have Enigma on the field as well as SF. One big Ravage ulti. Won't matter if you don't stun him. He can, if you don't pop off a BKB, you are not going to be getting your ulti off. The Ravage will hit everything on the map. It will demolish it all down, and you'll be looking pretty sweet after that point. Um, so, Mushy will have that choice after we do see VGF solo take up his, and he actually picks up Tidehunter. Maybe you already said, like, you know what, we've got to pick up Tidehunter. First pick on it, we've got to take it, so just go for that one. And uh, looks like even using uh, Delay Reducer down to five, which we have actually seen a lot more on lands as well. We saw it at SMM. Um, I was kind of like, what the hell are you need Delay Reducer for? You're playing on land, damn it. It's like, no, no, yes, you need to keep it consistent for the players. That's something I actually didn't understand when I was there. Got a little bit ragey about it, but I was cool, calm, and collective. Uh, but we do actually have SF, VS, Enigma, as well as Tidehunter. Three big AoEs. Surprising enough, they actually banned Lich on their own. I don't know why they actually did that, because Lich ulti on top of everything they've currently got would have been perfect and would have actually capped it off pretty nicely. Um, in saying that, they do actually lack one more late game hero, as well as a basically some initiator. And as well as a solo laner, I should probably actually say, Enigma could go solo, and they... What? Okay, we're going to see Huskar. Let's see how we go. It's the Sacred Warrior. Uh, this could be interesting. Wish Doctor has been picked up by Mushy, which is completely to be expected. Um, with the very few support heroes left in the field, even then Wish Doctor is still one of those great support heroes. Um, which, they need one more. Windrunner, Visage, and Batrider is more than enough for them. Just need one more. 
uh, with their lineup as well. Gosh. I'm going to leave it to Mushy. Um, I'm not going to leave it too long to Mushy as we're going to go speed up to speed times four because I'm pretty sure Mushy will use every single freaking second of his extra time to go about 30. And CM. I was thinking CM might be an option to support here. They didn't have really many more. They're not really a massively mana intense. Uh, even then, yes, they are. They're a mass they, can, they can easily spam every single build in their lineup. Who's got why, though? Um, Quad A, we're playing as our Crystal Maiden. Mushy playing as Windrunner. WTR, uh, we're playing as our Witch Doctor. KYXY, uh, we'll be playing as Batrider. And our solo top lane will be XT. Um, not solo, though. Witch Doctor and CM are coming up there to support him. So there's your solos. Windrunner in mid. Bottom lane, Batrider. As for your VGF, Solo is actually playing our Solo, Shadow Fiend in the middle lane, Enigma, Pirio, as well as, uh, I can't believe Huskar has actually picked, um, Kax, where you're playing as Huskar. So two of them for the top lane. They're going to be banking on the fact that Enigma's going to be jungling the entire time, it's going to gank at the right times and really make Huskar overpower. That's the only thing they can be banking on. Tidehunter on the bottom lane, Vengeful Spirit was thinking about joining him. This is weird. Um... Basically, Enigma's got to go bot for this lane up to work. It's the only way I can think of this lane up to work, and he's actually going to... This lane up. What the hell am I saying? Line up? Lane up? Wow, we've now just created a new term in Dota. Um, for this lane to work, they're probably expecting the tri lane to be on bot. Uh, now Tidehunter are coming up top, so we will see a tri lane on top. Or are we even going to see a quad lane? It's been a while since we've actually seen a quad lane. Enigma blocking off the Crete wave. Tidehunter's there. It's going to be interesting to see if they actually get the first blood. No, we don't. Huskar has actually gone down towards the bottom lane. Uh, looks like even then the Sentinels have changed it around a little bit. Uh, Batrider was going to go solo on the bot, so it'll be fine for that. Sam picks up the DD room from bottom, so he'll be looking to gank off that mid very, very early on in the piece. The Foghorn has already gone off, so the creep wave spawns off. Mushi uh, wins the uh, holding my creep wave back battle. Uh, he can get the award for that a little bit later. Now mid lane, going to get ganked up. Look how much damage! So much damage! Didn't even need this stun. Didn't even need it. You're fine. You're cool. And Solo's dead. SF, horrendous start. Absolutely horrendous start for them so far. Cax against Batrider on the bottom lane. Could be an interesting little bit of a uh, tussle. Both range. Both very, very capable of getting those last hits in there. Huskar going to be a little bit careful when uh, Batrider decides to initiate though. Looks like CM getting called out by Tidehunter as well as Enigma. Frost going out on both of them as uh, Tidehunter doesn't want any part of it. Enigma doesn't want any part of it either. They both want to run to opposite parts of it, but just basically just bump their noses the entire time. Vengeful Spirit wants to come down. It's not going to help him. Solo's up there on the top lane, just, uh, in the middle lane, just trying to push Windrunner back. He's already up to level 3. As I say, that looks like Ashley. Damn it. KYXY has actually already got himself a kill, so it's 2 to nil now. Batrider on the bottom lane. That answered your question of how that Huskar Batrider lane was going to go. CM moving up a little bit higher as well. They are, they are all around inside the smoke of the seat. Trying to move around without the wars detecting their movement. Enigma ready to push out this top lane. At this point, you just look at v, uh, VGF and go, okay, their lineup is meant for push. That's the only thing you can really get out of this lineup. And SF's dead again in the mid. Three heroes to do it. MY are just running around this map going, you know what? We're cool. We've got everything. Bottom lane's winning their 1v1 at the moment. Top lane, the tri lane is not really succeeding that well against Visage. He's up to level 3 already, which is a higher level than anybody in that tri lane. And the ganking's been happening there, mainly because um, Wish Doctor and CM are roaming ever so beautifully. CM, VS, and Tidehunter caught inside the uh, river right now. They're trying to make up their minds. Do we go up? Do we go down? Do we go up? Do we go down? I don't know. Let's just go up. No, no, let's go down. Crap! Still can't make up their minds. Now, coming in. CM wants to come in. Frost Nova will go off. Bouncing Stun will also follow off. Is there a Maldic? We've already got one kill going down in other lanes with KY killing someone on the bottom lane. Well, it doesn't matter because on the top lane, we're about to lose Killer. Um, he's trying to bring down CM. It's not going to be enough. And uh, we do actually see uh, WTR gets the kill up there on the top lane. Now turns it around. Big Frost Blast, Pegario goes down, oh my son of a giddy aunt, it's 8 to nil. it is 8 to nil so far, in favour of MY, this is, a, this is pretty dangerous, CM manages to escape as well, Wish Doctor giving a bit of a hand, 
Wind Runner now catching off. Shackle Shot goes on. Will there be a power shot to fold up to try and damage down the Tide Hunter? He's on very low HP. One power shot might be enough at a level three power shot. Uh, Tana's still alive. Power shot just missing, weaving straight through the middle of the two heroes. Huskar's left his bottom lane, coming towards that mid lane. Bottom SF. We see him in the switch around now. Bat right up against SF. SF is going to have a hell of a time. Now that that lasso is on, he's going to be dragged through the flames of the Firefly. Napalm on top of him as well. HYKY is thinking about going for it. It's flaming him up. Never more than more napalms that are actually stacked on top of him. The more damage the fire the fire attack from M H uh, K Y H Y is going to do. And now flames in through. He's caught inside, and Shadow Fiend is dead. <laughs> Completely dead. All dead. Oh, Everyone's still alive, but it's nine to nil so far. Mushy, farming up the mid top lane. VS getting ganked, getting stunned. Still alive. Not long lo alive long enough. Pierio is trying to form himself back right now as to Huskars in the side. Big nuke over the top. XT, it is the Visage on the top lane. Gets two, one nuke out, one standard attack, one nuke to get those last hits off. And that makes it 11 for nil. Give me flashbacks to the 33 nil first round match that we all saw the picture posted up on Ghost of Gamers. And we're like, what, that did what happen on the main stage? First match on the main stage, 33 nil GG in 20 minutes. Painful is the only word for that kind of thing. VS now comes down, bouncing stun, CM still there. Titan is trying to come around, splash goes over. They will be able to bring down Killer, another nuke. Third kill in the space of three minutes up there on the top lane for Visage. Now they're gonna go for Cax, who's falling himself back on this top lane, still harassing him down. One more Frost Nova would do it, but the uh, attack there from, from Quad A is enough to do the job. This tri lane for MY working perfectly. As far as, as, far as uh, the Scourge go, they literally got confused on their picks. It's the only thing I can literally say about this right now. Nothing's quite working for them. Where does Huskar fit into the lineup? That is my biggest question. He wanted to go solo, he wanted to be powerful, and uh, then he got done by Batrider once, lost the control. Batrider hero, which has been tried and tested a lot more than Huskar actually has in the later versions of Dota, not making this really easy for the Scourge. Just. I'm trying to think positive for them. But the top is nuking, the top is getting out of control. Off we go again, Frost Cone on top of Tidehunter. All he can do is let off his splash. He's not even level six just yet. Raw goes in the, in the opposite direction. Tidehunter will escape there with 50 HP. Enigma TPs up towards the top lane and will die up here on the top lane. Nukes pop off, CM harassing from the side. Triple A goes on a killing spree, which should not happen for a CM, but does. Has obviously been watching Cinderin play a hell of a lot and wants to go his style. I can't really say that for Triple A for any of the Malaysian team. <laughs> it's like, we make our own style, man. Windrunner just demolishing this mid lane as well. Is there anywhere they can go from here? I don't know. I really, really don't know. KYXY trying to push out this bottom lane. Huskar's there. Level 3 Huskar versus level 8 Batrider. If he has Lasso, stack a couple of Napalms and then kill off the rest. There's two Napalms. Will there be a second? Third. Lasso. Burn. Firefly is on. He's burning inside the flames. He's being dragged through them. Haskar goes down. That's why Batrider is so feared. Now they're going to go for a kill here on the middle lane. Mushy, will they bring him down? Enigma's getting the mini stuns off, but both SF as well as Enigma not strong enough to bring down Mushy, who is up to level 8 right now. Out leveling, out ability, out farming. Malaysia looking very, very confident to move through the next, next third round. And it's CM. Oh, there's a four star. To bring Windrunner away from Enigma, up closer to SF, to let him get those kills off. And Mushy, power shotting over the top. Now the Shackle follows it too. He won't focus fire this down. He's already lost too much life. Uh, he will have enough support though if he wanted to actually attempt it. But he will not do it. Or well, fall back. Four star was the first, first thing. <laughs> XT, top lane. Kill as well. Wish Doctor, spawning off Enigma, harassing him down. Bouncing stun will now go. Huskar's there as well. It's going to harass that lane down and just bounce between the two of them. 
Being more of a nuisance than anything. And also making him think twice. Batrider's now with a blink dagger up. Stop killing people on top lane. Bottom lane. I'm waiting for the blink and lasso. That's all he needs. One blink and lasso. Even then, he probably doesn't even need it to bring down Cax. A level 3 Huskar going up against Batrider. So, so I correct myself. A level 4 Huskar now. Towards the top lane, SF running out there. Three Ironwood branches and a Wraith Band at eight minutes for an SF. That is one sad sight. One very, very, very sad sight. Visage spotting the SF. Using his familiars, doesn't want to lose him. Tied to almost up to level six. That's going to be one upside. See him. Is he trying to solo an SF? Visage comes through and nukes him over the top. XT gets a VS with a stun. Wish Doctor stun will be enough to hold back VS, as well as another nuke coming through. It actually gets the last hit from the Witch Doctor. Oh, CM, you ballsy, ballsy girl. A girl with balls, I'd never say that was actually a very good thing to actually see. And there's that gank on bottom lane that I was waiting for before. The blink and the fire. Mushy gets one as well, catching Huskar out trying to farm. Oh, this is... Oh, where's the concede? There's got to be a concede. It's 24 for nil. Just to make this happier for everybody else out there. We're going to go two times the pace. Just to push through. 24 for nil. I apologize for everyone doing this one, but this is my version of a concede button uh, for the Scourge team. This is just nasty. This is absolutely nasty. We'll keep up with the mix. Shackle through the mid, power shot as well. If any of those connected with Huskar, they have half his HP. But now Mushy able to focus that, top, that mid tower down. SF and Tidehunter return back towards the top. So we test my capture box to see if we actually keep up with two times the pace. Windrunner now in Viz Rune is going to spot out Enigma. Look for the shackle, power shot, not even needing focus fire. One hit, two hit, three hit, four hit as she took. While that was actually happening, Mab Force pushes himself in towards the middle. He wants for yes, he might actually claim it. He claims him and runs back up towards the high ground. While that was actually happening, there was kills coming out from Visage. It looks like he's keeping himself back towards the main base after getting that kill. But double kill coming out there from Mushy as the Windrunner. Now bottom lane being taken out. Glimp did pop off. Batrider helping that push just coming through. 27 for nil. Visage now in the mid lane. Tight under Ravage goes off. He dies through it though. 28 for nil. Now the mid push will come. Enigma is there. He has a black hole. He only gets two. Not long enough. In comes the lasso. Pulls him straight back out of it. There's a damage dealing from Visage. Just getting a triple kill out for, X, for XT. So much damage. So much control. The Malaysian team. Team Malaysia is what they want to be called. They're trying to prove it as well. They're doing so. Tier 2 towers now where they actually head up to. Power shot goes off. XT buy himself some time. Not really actually. <laughs> with two with two times the speed. Don't really buy, buy much time at all. Last tier two tower now going down. 13 minutes is currently where we're sitting here. Lasso pulls up again. Tight under goes down. XT claims the last hit from that one. Now they're gonna dive straight on top of the tower. Shadowfin goes over the top. Double kill for XT. Triple A, the CM is the one wanting to get the kills. As uh, we do actually see Windrunner is dive past the entire tower. And um We'll hold the team off. We'll now focus fire the tier three. Get the racks. Tidehunter, force push staff into the mix. Not where you want to be. Actually, where you want to be pulling off his Ravage, but died way too fast for it. And that is one, two, three, four, five. Genocide, count it. GG call comes out from VGF. I have no idea why this replay time is so much longer. But uh, you guys can't see that due to my name actually covering up so you don't get spawned. Batrider! Oh, he almost gave away the perfect killing spree. 42 for nil. Batrider still there. 44. Pushing them back in again. We'll claim the tier 4 towers. More of a GG call. Shadow Fiend. The entire team is now disconnecting. SF comes back out again. Just to die. 45 for nil. Tower down. Throne is remaining. Heroes inside the mine base. Even now, we actually see Team Malaysia have actually left. It's auto attacking that is finishing off this last base. Creep Wave comes in. And that is GG, boys and girls. 
I'm going to say nothing more than a bit of a stomp. Just a bit of a... 45 for nil is where they ended out. Nirvana and Y, I want to see you in the next round. See how you actually went. One of the fastest games I've actually shout car. 16 minutes and 36 seconds it took for the throne to actually go down. GG, 45 minutes. We'll be back with more ration, guys. Don't go anywhere.